Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Savzetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith and the forecast. John. Well, we will be looking for lots of sunshine across New Mexico throughout the afternoon, but we will be watching a weak storm that will be passing through Colorado through the afternoon hours. That could throw a couple of clouds into the northern mountains throughout the afternoon, but otherwise, it's going to be very sunny as we approach the upcoming couple of days with warmer conditions through Wednesday as well, but we will be watching for wind over the next couple of days. Fast northwesterly flow will be in place throughout the afternoon and into tomorrow. We'll be looking for gusts in east central sections up to 30 miles per hour, even exceeding that 20 plus miles per hour in the southeast and the northeast. Then as we approach Thursday, that's our next big wind day with another storm passing through the northeast. We won't be looking for much precip with this one, but we will be looking for very gusty conditions. Winds will be exceeding 40 miles per hour at a gust as we move through eastern sections. We could be looking at gusts over 30 miles per hour in the metro for Thursday, and then things start to quiet down into at least the first half of the weekend before another storm system brings us another shot of precip into the latter part of the weekend. A fight over $10 sent an Albuquerque woman to the hospital with some serious injuries. 25-year-old Carlos Chavez is charged with false imprisonment, and he's being held on a $5,000 bond at MDC. Police were called out to 3200 Todos Santos Northwest around 3.15 yesterday afternoon. When they arrived, they found paramedics working on Ana Gallegos. The criminal complaint says Gallegos and Chavez got into an argument over $10 worth of heroin. Police say Gallego started to back out of the driveway when Chavez allegedly pulled her out of the car and the vehicle ran over her. Police documents say she suffered a fractured pelvis and lacerated liver. A deadly combination of cold weather and drinking mouthwash may have contributed to the death of a homeless woman overnight. Albuquerque police say they got a call from downtown in front of the Compass Bank from two transients. They said their female friend went to sleep last night and didn't wake up. They pointed out she had been drinking mouthwash heavily. The death is not considered suspicious and the woman's name has not been released. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day, everybody, and see you tomorrow.